I actually never wanted to be a model. I started, I mean, this sounds cheesy, but like someone picked me up on, in a mall and was like, you should model. And I literally threw it over my shoulder and was like, I'm only doing this if I can play basketball and go to school and do all the things normal kids get to do. So I, it took some time. For me, everything that I wanted to do in my life, like be a doctor or pharmacist, play in the in WNBA, be a professional model, you know, start a nonprofit. You have to actually give 100% of your time to that for a specific amount of time. I experienced half-assing these things and I didn't get full rewards out of it and so I needed to focus my time so I when I decided to be a model I made sure I was in the best shape of my life I made sure that I was extremely open and like aware of what what was happening in the world so that I was safe where I was traveling and that I was open to opportunities you know that were lifted in front of me. The biggest key for me was to keep consistent and to stay open-minded that's it like I, I really can't say anything else because modeling is not like when you're a doctor and you study and you get the phys physical rewards, like, you know, the numbers aren't going to show right away. So you just stay focused and try to be as open minded as possible. In the beginning of, of my career, I faced a lot of like personal scrutiny and I, I, I had to realize that it's not about you, it's really about an image. They're trying to make an image work. And once I got over that, I feel like I became a real woman and I, I conquered a lot of my like personal fears. Social media is really important to me because I know how much of a difference it makes in a person's persona and personality and I book jobs because of my personality. There's so many beautiful girls and other you know models out there and I try to show as much of my personality as possible on my social media feeds. So like Snapchat, I'm really silly, Instagram, I'm a little more serious. I use them so that people can kind of understand who Grace Mahari is and not like just see the face. The process of getting booked as a model has changed a lot, I think, in the last few years because of social media. Traditionally, you go through an agency and the agent books you, but now with social media, you have alternate sources of, of clients, so it's kind of like just becoming various and really random. Kudos to the social media models out there. You do it, girl. You do it. <laughs> Those Instagram models are making. Mm. <laughs> I think like any job, there are positives and negatives. and. It's about how much more positive there is and for, for me I find a giant form of positivity in this career in fashion and I know that because I started a nonprofit of which I have a huge passion for and only was able to do it because I'm a model. Started Project Sahai last year officially, but I researched for years on renewable energy and sustainability in developing nations because my family's from a developing nation and I feel like as a, as a woman with a platform, I had an opportunity to help people that didn't have electricity. So the organization is, is, is quite young, it's brand new, and I'm super involved with it because of that. I've been actually surprised by how many people have asked to help and the support is actually super humbling because it's from the communities that I may not even live in or be in right now but they're reaching out from like parts of Canada, parts of the states, parts of like parts of Africa. It's 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 really humbling to know that.